I wrote down my remarks today so that I wouldn't get off script very much. So, I know it's also the, the thing in, in literature. So, good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this gathering which brings together faculty, sort of faculty, students and some former students too, um, over a program around a collective work which is right here. Rolando Hinojosa's Cleo City Death Trap series, uh, trip series, sorry, uh, a retrospective New Directions, which was edited by Steve Miller and Jose Villalobos. So I think that for everybody, the publication of a book is always a bittersweet experience because it's both an ending and a beginning. Once the writing is done, the reading begins. So the book opens and flaps away like a bird whose trajectory you can't predict or stop. I got poetic. Uh, when it's a collective book, the experience is enriched by the fact that the writing generates bonds across institutions, across generations, across different ethnic backgrounds. And the book itself is the knot in a network, linking together different experiences, thoughts, and of course different languages. So those of you who have been here long enough will remember when it all started in the first floor of the Evans Library in, two, in, in 2010. And judging by the surroundings, we've gone up in the world nicer place than that. I thought that today, to parallel the title of the book we are celebrating, I should do a little bit of a retrospective and talk briefly about some new directions. So in retrospect, we are all older and wiser, maybe. Uh, some of us have been tenured, others have been promoted, and others have become gainfully employed and moved away from the cocoon of Texas and Texas A&M. Our graduate program, two of whose outstanding students participated in the writing of this book, is about to reach its 10th birthday, right, Jose? Is it, is it in August? Yes. September? And in the New Directions rubric, this book is a milestone in many ways because it draws scholarly attention to the work of a towering figure in Hispanic literature celebrated not just in the United States but the world over. And in doing so, it is a fine example of the mission uh, the Department of Hispanic Studies has recently set out for itself namely to show the world that here in Texas, Spanish refuses to be Cinderella. Uh, from the mouths of bilingual speakers the state over to the shelves of academia, Spanish and English coexist in a giddy dance that makes poor monolingual heads spin in the kinds of linguistic mashup that we really Hispanics have been performing over and over for millennia. So to quote another towering figure of Hispanic literature also well presented today, cada cual Sancho es hijo de sus obras, in any language or in two. And now it's over to Dr. Miller, Steve Miller, who's going to present the speakers. Thank you. 